I had no idea how big it was going to be. I had no clue how wonderful it was going to be, and I thought they were insane. We're going to cover this bridge, give it some color, make it a focal point for a month. We're going to tear it down, we're going to leave. Back in February, that sounded like a really stupid idea. We were working on a proposal for a pop-up space in downtown Pittsburgh. And we were on Penn Avenue, we were doing a yarn bombing. And Amanda looked across the street up to the river and saw a bridge, one of the three sisters, and said, you know, we should yarn bomb a bridge. The role of the Fiber Arts Guild is basically a sponsor of the project. This is the year for Fiber Art International 2013 and the directors of Fiber Art International asked Amanda to be the outreach coordinator. And then they asked if she had an idea for a project, and she said, as a matter of fact, she did, and um, that the Bridge was born. My name is Amanda Griff, and I am the lead artist for Knit the Bridge, which is um, a project um, with the goal of connecting all these different communities in southwestern Pennsylvania through community-made public art. One of the challenges, actually, was finding funding and people who would believe in what we were doing or thought we could. And so one of the first funders that we approached was the Sprout Fund. The Sprout Fund funded print materials. The Sprout Fund also funded a diversity coordinator. I was thinking in terms of how to really create an accessible and inclusive project that it truly is representational of all the different communities in Pittsburgh and that diversity. The towers are one special unit, part of the whole bridge, uh, Knit the Bridge project, and the ground level panels are another specific area. The most difficult thing about the towers was that they really don't have any places on them to tie something to. My approach was to make everything as lightweight as possible, which is typically not an engineering approach. So after I designed this lightweight system, we needed an engineer with a license to take a look at it and tell me whether it was actually going to work. It was hard to actually quantify a number for wind loadings and whatever, but once we got it going and tied it all together, I thought it was a better situation in its final stage than what he had anticipated. The ground level panels um, were made by 17 or 1800 different people. Every panel got its own unique identification number. We logged panels into a database on the computer so that we would have a strong association with each panel and the makers of those panels so that we could track or the artists themselves could track where their panel ended up. We had groups of people coming to this spinning plate location which was our workshop and did all sorts of little tasks. What was so heartening and what was just so great about the project was the community involvement from the moment people heard about it was outstanding. One of the things that I really learned from this project about working with volunteers was how to be welcoming, how to engage people. The other striking feature about this particular project, not just the community that embraced it, but also the amazing talent of the core team of people that came together to get this project off the ground and on the bridge was just phenomenal. I think to really do grassroots community organizing or community-based public art, it's more about building a really widespread, very horizontal leadership team and giving over a lot of the project to those leaders and letting them take it where they want it to go. The Monday after we finished, there were people walking across the bridge and everything they had to say was positive. And I started to feel like we had done something that mattered. The sense of community, I, th I think, was, was interesting. It was kind of like art with a purpose that actually made sense. Being inclusive means that anyone can come along and shape the project. And so I think that can be tricky at times, but that's really what made it happen, because it wouldn't have happened if there weren't thousands of people participating. <laughs>